now we will be talking about question number 11 I have directly uh, decided to do now question number 11 because rest of the questions are very similar to the one you did in uh, chapter 3 and in chapter 4 also you did some of them similar questions and um, this question is really important from the examination point of view so I'll be doing this now you practice uh, you have uh, you should have uh, proper clarity now itself regarding this question so some of the areas of two squares is 460 meter square if the difference of their perimeters is 24 meter find the size of two squares so what they are asking at the end find the sides of two squares so you have to find the side of two squares and in such question we'll let's begin from the end part so let the side of the first square be x meter uh, you can stop it x also then second one let the side of the second square be y meter okay they were asking two squares so and look if we talk only about single square you definitely have four sides and if it will be about another square, it also have four sides. So, uh, since there are two squares, we have to write their sides separately. And that's what I've done. Let the side of the first square be x meter. Let the side of the second square be y meter. Then according to question. According to question. Uh, for that, we have to go from the first part again. Sum of the areas of two squares is 468 meters square sum of the areas of two squares okay sum of the areas of two squares first of all we have to think about a single square what is the formula of area of square students yeah please what did you think mm, i hope some of you got right uh, at least some of you and others, those who go wrong, uh, make your basic stronger. Area of square formula is a square. A square a, a is just the I mean measurement of side. So a square. Uh, and here, in this question, we have considered side of first square is x. So area of first square will be x square okay understood formula is a square and what is it a a is actually the side in formula uh, a square then in this question our side of first square was x that's why I've given x square then since they have total sum so keep plus next area of second square will be See, first square we have given x as measurement of side, so x square area. Then in second square, our side is y. So area of second square will be how much? y square. Sum of areas of two squares is equal to how much? 468 meters square. So you can write 468. You can give this as equation one. Next, also, if the difference of their perimeters is 24 meter, difference of their perimeters. Now again, you have to know what is perimeter. Students, I told you, uh, perimeter is just the uh, addition. Or sum of all the sides of any given figure. Are you cool? And I should not tell you this here in this question. This is just the basics. Um, go through those formulas again if you not understood. Um, so, perimeter of first square will be in this question, perimeter of first square will be 4x. And they have total difference. So, I can give minus. Then perimeter of second square will be 
power y and what is the value of, uh, of the difference 24 meter here i can give equation 2 but before that i'll take common uh, i'll bring this uh, this side for x minus 4y minus 24 equal to 0 then 4 x minus y minus 6 equal to 0 then x minus y minus 6 equal to 0 okay i can um, select this one on the RHS or i can still uh, give this equation 2 I mean by keeping it here equation 2 now recall what we did in substitution method in substitution method we used to do something like this from 1 or 2 whichever you are comfortable with you used to keep x or y this side and you used to take rest on the RHS that's what I am going to do now since here this one, x square and this first equation and second equation second equation is much more simpler so I'll do I'll substitute this somewhere from two. What I'll do? I will do. I will take. I will keep x here. Then if I take remaining on the RHS, we'll be getting six plus y. Okay. This. This 6 plus y is the value of x as you can see x equal to 6 plus y and this is what I'll put in equation 1 so I'll be writing putting the value of x in 1 put it uh, you will be getting we put this value 6 plus y x in equation 1 you will be getting 6 plus y whole square plus y whole square equal to 468 then this is a plus b whole square if you multiply this you'll be getting uh, 36 plus i won't say how this 36 scheme then 12y plus y square then plus y square equal to 468 I hope I don't need to explain this part then here y square plus y square this is 2y square plus 12y plus 36 if I bring it this power 60 this side it is 0 ok I have to answer this last line just very simple simple maths then next this is mm. if we see this previous last line uh, 2y square plus 12y okay we can't do anything with this so we'll write it um, as it is square plus 12y and in the last line we have 30, uh, 36 minus 468 so 36 minus 468 that minus is much much bigger so this one and here answer will be 432 equal to 0 yeah if you see, do this by on your own you will understand and here again you can take common When you take common, what can we take common here? See properly. 2y square plus 12y minus 43 equal to 0. We can take y common, isn't it? No, y is not there in the, with that 432. We can take something common. Look, in first term we have 2, second term we have 12, last term uh, that 432 is even, so we can take 2 common. So take 2 common, 
y square plus 6y minus uh, 216 equal to 0. This is 216. Then that one you take out plus 6y minus 216 equal to 0. This, this is equal to and from here you can do discriminant method I mean sorry quadratic method that we you learn uh, in the previous video okay here you see this is just like a square uh, I mean x square plus then uh, x square plus uh, b, bx plus c equal to 0 this looks just like this all right so uh, you can use that formula here or you can still uh, continue with middle term with bottom method you'll get the uh, same answer but you should also practice with this quadratic formula so do this with quadratic formula and show me the answer and i would also like you to say one thing here look here in our this quadratic equation our variable is y okay so at the end, either you do middle term or uh, that quadratic formula, you will be getting one positive and one negative. Okay, one positive and one negative. And what did you consider for y? What was y? You see here. Y was the side of the second square. And we know side can never be negative. Do you have, have you ever seen something like this? After drawing square, this side is minus five centimeter. This side is minus 10 centimeter. No. You always write 5 centimeter, 6 centimeter like that. That means positive. So after you find uh, values of y here, uh, one you will definitely get positive, one you will definitely get negative. So don't consider that negative. You con you continue it with positive. Suppose you will get y is 5 and one is, uh, one is 5 and another one is suppose minus 7. Then you no need to uh, continue it with that minus 7. Continue with 5. Okay, so for you, why why will be five now? Final, why will be five? And put this value of y equal to five somewhere in equation. You can say like here, and then you also get the value of x. Okay, um, this is all I want you to do this question, and uh, after a couple of days, I'll be again uploading videos uh, for four point four. Okay, and one more thing I'd like to say, um, in previous video, uh, at the beginning I have written exercise 3.3, that's not actually 3.3, that was 4.3, but I made a mistake there, okay, alright, uh, thank you, see you soon.